Welcome to Talking Tigers. I'm Rachel Whitaker. Well, LSU has been here before, four straight years hosting an NCAA regional. First up is Lehigh, Friday at 3. And joining me now is LSU coach Paul Maneri. Well, Paul, first, congratulations on getting to this point. Thanks, Rachel. Our kids have had a remarkable year, 48 wins out of 58 tries. And I think we were, we were justifiably rewarded with hosting a regional and having a national seed. Most definitely, 48 and 10 so far. And as, as for pitching, it's clear you have options before Alex Lang on Saturday and Jared Poche on Sunday. But as of here Thursday morning, nobody locked up, right? <laughs> I'm sure that's going to be the big question of the day when I meet with the media a little bit later. I think what we're going to do on Friday, Rachel, is kind of treat it like a midweek game, what we typically do with midweek games, and use a lot of different guys. Uh, that'll be for a couple of reasons. Number one, we haven't really established a clear-cut number three starter. And secondly, if we did have a number three starter, it would be a true freshman. And I, I don't know if this is the right environment to throw a true freshman into that first pitch of a regional with 10,000, 11,000 people and a national television audience. I might want to opt to go at the beginning of a game with a little bit more veteran presence. And then the other thing is, if we use a lot of different guys, we'll still have them available for later on in the weekend if necessary. So I think it's the best option for us. Absolutely. And as, re as SEC regular season champs, you led the conference in batting most of the year. So what challenges at the plate do you expect to face this weekend? Well, offense is something we're really proud of, and I do believe that we'll be able to uh, to meet that challenge of whoever we face, um, but they're going to be good. You know, the left-hander that we're facing for Lehigh tomorrow, he's going to be a, a challenge for us, and, and our guys are, are excited about that. You know, they're looking forward to playing these good teams and facing good pitching, and hopefully they'll be successful. Right, anything can happen in the postseason, we know. And lastly, Paul, your thoughts on the field coming to Baton Rouge, of course, Lehigh, and then a certain local team in Tulane who you might face coming up this weekend. Oh, yeah, sure. That's going to be exciting. And uh, I'm just really happy for David Pierce and their Tulane program. They had a tremendous year. David, in his first year, did a great job. Uh, we had two great games with them earlier this year, and I happen to think a lot of David and his ability as a coach and as a person. So I think it's exciting for the state and exciting for New Orleans that Tulane is, and LSU could potentially match up in the regional here. I'm going to stop short of rooting for any particular team because whatever I root for never ends up happening anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, we're, we're, we'll, we'll play our game, and then after our game is over, we'll sit back and watch UNC Wilmington play Tulane, and we'll figure out who we're going to play after that. But, uh, again, if it, if it is Tulane, it'll be a very exciting night in the box, and, and uh, we'll, we'll look forward to that and embrace that challenge. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, Alex Box should be rocking this weekend starting on Friday. And Paul, best of luck and thank you so much this morning. Well, it's always good to be with you, Rachel. Thank you. And thank you as always for watching, everybody. We'll see you Friday.